Now look at this beauty, dark theme going, black background, customization is great with this device. Before we get started, if you want to see all my videos about the Tango Tab, then type in Chris Viral Tango Tab in the YouTube search and you will find all the videos. Initiating. Welcome back. Welcome back to my daily grind. Create yourself is what you'll find me doing every day and every night. No time to lose one day, one step. In the right direction, I'm Chris and I'm only here to show you if I can do it, you can do it too. Welcome back to the vlog, it is Tuesday in our day A, in our chance to push out and the topic for this vlog is turning on the Tango tab for the first time and going through the customization through all the apps and all of that good stuff. So let's get it. By the way, all the product reviews right here. Watch them all. But before we get started, love goes out to all my subscribers. Thank you for making my life special and worth living to the max. So let me try to give back with a sweet, sweet video. The Tango tab, as I said in my last vlog, in the unboxing vlog, you can check it out right here. This build is awesome. So let's see what it can do. Let's get right to it. And of course, the focus is not on point. Here we go. Turning it on for the first time. Well, here we go with another setup. By the way, this is the max angle that you can open it up. So that's not very far. But anyways, you can check the vision settings right here. And you can, for example, enlarge the font size, which I will do small, medium to large. I will take the largest. Yes, I just changed my polarizer, but it's not a big difference. We have talkback, select to speak. Let's continue. Okay, United States is fine. All other languages right here. Start. Let's connect to the Wi-Fi. Okay, connect. Nice. He was working pretty good. Checking for updates, installing them. Okay, here we go. I don't want to copy apps, but I will log into my Google account. Here we go. There we go. Yes, agree to this. Use of location, allow the scanning. Don't want to send. Okay, accept. Screen lock. Okay, I will skip the screen lock. There is no fingerprint or anything like that. Skip. Oh, the Google Assistant, no. Mm, there's a, there seems to be an error. And I will just skip. Oh my, it's ready to, what? Okay, that was weird anyways. Just Android things. Anything else? No thanks. Let's go. Oh, here we go. Oh, that's better actually. All right, there it is. Microsoft Word. From this distance, the screen is fine. But when you go closer, this is one of the trade-offs. You can have it all for this price tag, but the screen is acceptable. Nice, all right. We have the assistant, all the Google bloatware right here, the Google Zoom, Play Store, Mail, YouTube. But other than, whoa. Oh, that's the touchpad right here. That is so cool. Oh yeah, let's go. Other than that, there, isn't a lot of bloatware on this device. Can you believe it? Okay, nice. This concludes the setup. I will go through the detailed configuration off screen, of course. Actually, one more thing. That is the screen brightness right here. So it can go a bit brighter. Okay, so that's not bad. So this is an IPS panel. So the viewing angles are pretty good. Okay, it looks weird on the camera, but the viewing angles, they are amazing. A little mouse pad, that's cute. And when we close it up, Oh, it didn't lock. Really? Okay, it seems you have to, you actually need to lock it yourself and then it's all safe. Now look at this beauty, dark theme going, black background, customization is great with this device. Let's go into the settings right here. This actually comes with Android 10 out of the box. Check this out, amazing. And also when you go to about and then to build number, and tap it seven times and you will unlock the developer mode, which is not here. You actually need to go inside the systems and then advanced and here it is developer options. And here you can see that this is the newest of their tablets with four gigabytes of memory, four gigabytes of RAM, which is great for having quite a lot of tabs open in Google Chrome. And of course, other similar things. I have my home assistant going. So far, I'm really happy with the level of customization. Stupid setup is still not, I don't know what's going on, but it's still not working. Oh, now it, what? Oh my goodness, okay. Just Android things. Is it done now? Oh, it's, oh fine, there we go, there we go. Done with the setup, everything is fine so far, amazing. 
So all in all, I am quite happy with the customization with all of that. The only thing that I can remove is this Google search thing, but this just comes with the launcher. Could be worse, could be worse. All in all, I'm fairly happy with the outcome. In my next vlog, you can check it out here. I will go through the specs in detail. I will go through all the features and I will also talk about my first impressions of this device. But as you already know, I'm surprised in a very pleasant way because this thing is super cheap it's crazy anyways i guess i will see you there because that's it for this one smash the like button the way this thing is smashing other competitive devices because it's just priced so cheaply it's crazy bang the bell to never miss product reviews and check the recent news on chrisviral.com and that is it for today i will see you tomorrow